Hi there, welcome to art. So today we are going to do a work in the style of African-American artist William Johnson. And if you were in fourth grade, you got to do this last year. And I thought, well, maybe I will change this project. But I love kids to learn about William Johnson. His style is so inspiring. And you who are in fourth grade can tell, tell the third graders what makes it William Johnson, William Johnson? What makes his artwork so special? So, today we're gonna to look at his work. You see some in the background. Notice the details. What's different about his work? I hope you were able to see the slideshow. So, I'm gonna show you a couple examples that kids have done with William Johnson's work in the past. I love this one. It was done by Eva who never picked up her artwork, so I got to keep it. This shows a, a musician on stage. That was done by our favorite person, Miss Merrill. And we have this one. You notice the people all have wonderful outfits. And did you notice their big hands? Okay, stay tuned and I'll show you how to make one of your own. So for this project, you're going to need a large piece of brown paper your black Sharpie marker, a planning pencil. I'm using white, but you could also use a regular pencil. You also need your paints, a paintbrush, and a cup of water. Today, if you have it, I, a, a brown paint would be great, but I will show you how to make one if you don't. And it's also helpful to have an extra paper towel to clean off your paints when they get dirty. So let's get started. The first thing you do on this is to do a little bit of planning. And I did that ahead of time with my white pencil. I made my figures big and bold. I decided to do the era when there were wonderful jazz clubs in New York City and people came and danced and musicians made wonderful music. This is a picture of a family. Notice the shape she's used. She's used the simple outline shapes like William Johnson. I decided to do the same. I made, put my shapes together, rectangular to, for the body, made wonderful big hands, which is a trademark of William Johnson. I'm going to outline it in black Sharpie so you can see it. So start, as I say, simple shapes. Did you notice the shoulders are very straight? The hands are very big. So I'm going to fast forward this. And just like I am, you're going to plan it and outline it in black. So I have my shapes outlined. Now I'm going to add a hop over line to show the dance floor. And you might even add a light or a disco ball. You decide. So once you have your drawing outlined, it's time to do the painting. If you have brown paint, you're just gonna simply get your brush wet and go over it. Then make sure you have a little paper towel hand in case it's too wet and simply paint around the eyes, that's important. And because we've used a Sharpie, you can paint right over those black lines. When we're all done, we're gonna take a white pencil from your set and put in the whites of the eyes. That'll make those eyes pop. Now, if you don't have brown paint available here at home, you can mix your own by taking a little bit of black paint, very little, and putting it in the edge of your red paint. And I would test it out first and see, yep, that's a good color. You can use that for your brown skin. Okay, stay tuned. I am gonna fast forward and we'll see how this comes out. So I have my painting done. I put some pattern on my background. William Johnson often used pattern. 
I colored in my dance floor a nice color. Now that it's, it's dry, and I have to tell you, painting this will probably take you two sessions. It takes a little while to do a good job, and a couple of tips I remembered as I was painting. When you're going to do this, when you go to do the details, put your brush on tiptoe. When I did my painting, I first did on tiptoe around the edges, then I can use it a little more flat to fill in the big area. So take your time and go on tiptoe for that. Now, once it is dry, you can say, oh, I'm done, or you could go back and add some detail. We said that sometimes you would see some pattern in a William Johnson work. You can add that either with your colored pencils or with your markers. It's really up to you. I think I'm gonna choose my white pencil to th give this guy a fancy striped suit. And you know what I forgot? I forgot his big tie. Maybe we'll give him a big bow tie. Oh, that looks much better. He looks much more dressed up with his bow tie. I could also use markers if I wanted to give this lady a polka dotted outfit. I could go back, once it's dry, I don't think it would work too well when it's wet, and add some design and pattern. So, take your time with this project. It takes a while to do a really nice William Johnson. Remember, big bold shapes, straight shoulders, big hands, lots of contrast and bright colors. And take your time to do a good job. And when you're all done, would you take a picture of your work and send it to me? I can't wait to see it.